Hi, in this lecture, we will add a surface detection visuals. We can add surface detection from the Unity editor. To add AR default plane, go to game object, XR, and click on AR default plane. Now we have an AR default plane in our hierarchy group. And now we will be creating a prefab for this AR default plane. Create a new folder and name it as prefabs. Click on prefab folder to open it and drag and drop AR default plane. AR default plane prefab is created in the prefab folder. Now we can delete AR default plane from the hierarchy view. This is our AR default plane for the visuals. And this is how it looks like. It have a multiple components attached AR plane, AR plane mesh visualizer, mesh collider, mesh renderer and line renderer. This is the combined package provided by Unity for the visuals of surface detection. AR plane and AR plane mesh visualizer, all these scripts are provided by AR foundation library. And now click on AR session region and search for a component AR plane manager. And now simply we will assign AR default plane to this plane prefab variable. We have used a default visualizer, AR default plane, but we can also create our own uh, visualizer. We can create an empty game object and attach these all required components. Now we will be disabling a cube to have a better view of visuals. Let's create a build and test. We can see the visual from the eyes of the AR camera. So we can see how the AR is looking at the real world. We can play around with the AR default plane prefab to have different type of visuals for AR. Once we have something that can be reused in different AR projects, we can export them as a custom Unity package. And later on, we can import them in any project to save some time. And now I will be showing you how we can export a Unity asset as a custom Unity package. And later in this lecture, we will be re-importing the custom package to reuse it. Right click on asset you want to export and click on export package and this is the prefab we're going to export check the include dependency package click on export and type the name of your unity package your unity custom package unity custom package will be saved at your selected location and now i will be showing you how we can import the custom package we have already created i will be repeating all the steps we have done with ar default plane just to have a good idea of its alternate way of doing it. By learning how Unity custom packages work, it can help in your own project to speed up. After completing this course, you can create your custom packages from this course and you can utilize in your own project ideas. We will import AR plane visualizer prefab. In the project panel, mouse right click and import package, custom package and select the package you want to import and then click open. Unity asset packages are a bundle of Unity assets compressed into a .unity package file. The bundle is easy to distribute as a single file and is relatively easy to import into projects. These packages can contain c -sharp scripts, assemblies, native plugins, models, textures, animations, and audio clips, and other assets. If we have a functionality that can be used in a different projects, we can combine that into a single custom prefab and then later on we can import into a several Unity project. Like in this case, I have a game object and assign different components to it to have a surface detection visuals. I have combined that into a custom Unity package. We have two options, recreate the prefab and attach different required components to it, or just import the custom package for generic functionality. And it will show you the assets inside this custom package. As you can see, we are importing one material and one prefab. In Unity, a material is a file that contains the information of object appearance or the lighting information of that object. Do not confuse with the name material because a material has nothing to do with the mass, collision, or even physics in general. A material is used to define how lighting affects an object with that material. Prefabs are special type of components that allows fully configured game objects to be saved in the project for reuse. These assets can then be shared between scenes or even projects without having to be configured again. This is quite useful for the objects that will be used many times, such as in a shooting game or bullets of a gun. Major benefits of prefab is that they are essentially linked copies of the assets that exist in the project window. 
This means that changes made or applied to the original prefab will affect the other instance. Prefabs are created automatically when an object is dragged from a hierarchy view into the project window. Prefab looks quite similar to the other objects that appear in the project window. However, when selected, their file type is .prefab. I have attached this custom package with the lecture. You can download it and import it to match the progress with the course. We have imported this material and this prefab. A game object is an object in the Unity Editor, which contains components. Components define the behavior of the game object. Every game object in Unity has a transform component. This component defines the game object's position, rotation, and scale in the game world. And these are all the components that create the behavior for this game object. There are few components attached to this prefab. Transform, Airplane, Airplane, Mesh Visualizer, Mesh Collider, Mesh Filter, and Mesh Renderer. The material we saw earlier is assigned here and next company is line renderer. We can also create this prefab from scratch by creating an empty game object and attaching all these components to the game object. Click on add component and search for airplane manager. This component will retrieve all the scanned data from the real world and it will utilize our prefab that will be a plane prefab. By utilizing the plane prefab, it will show us the visuals of the scanning data. Let's assign the AR plane debug visualizer. The second option is detection mode. For now, we will keep the default settings. A plane manager is a type of trackable manager. A plane manager creates game object for each detected plane in the environment. A plane is a flat surface represented by position, dimension, and boundary points. The boundary points are convex. Example of features in the environment that can be detected as plane are horizontal tables, floors, countertops, and vertical walls. You can specify reduction mode, which can be horizontal, vertical, or both. Some platforms require extra work to perform vertical plane detection. So if you need only horizontal planes, you should disable vertical planes detection for the performance. All the components used on plane prefab, which is our AR plane debug visualizer, all are provided by the AR foundation. The AR foundation package includes these components for ease of use, but you can create your own visualizers. For this lecture, we will disable the cube to have a proper view of AR surface detection. Now it's time to create a build and let's see how it looks. So this is how a camera is looking at the real world. In this demo, we have a vertical surface detection and also a horizontal surface detection. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next lecture.